To Melang San Bonani Luchani A, here's what happened on Mubango, 17 August 2021. Azunini slept at Bangani's place. Bangani told him that he was supposed to sleep at his bed and made him team. Azunini said he respects him. Bangani asked how are the things between him and Susan. He quickly received a message from Susan and she wanted to see him after work. He then told Bangani that things are fine. She even wants to see her. Denda called KK and asked him about his proxy and when he's coming back to Johannesburg. KK said he trusts his judgment. He's not planning to come back to Johannesburg anytime soon. He even put his house on the market. Denda made an offer to KK. Andrew had a breakfast with Sharon at Dugatole. Sharon was miles away thinking. Andrew asked her what's bothering her. Sharon asked him about the plans he has for their relationship. Andrew said they are just having fun. Sharon asked him about marriage and said that's all she is and entertainment to him. Andrew said that's not what he meant and what is wrong with women. Sharon went back to work upset. Jose and Buchile tried to convince James to come to the bachelor party but they failed. Imani warned her husband not to go to the bachelor party. James said he's not interested. He's trying to seal a deal with a very stubborn client, but he's glad his woman is jealous of him. Iman said he's not jealous of him. Iman said he's not jealous at all. The MMC had a meeting. Then they asked ladies to excuse themselves. They then talked about bachelor party. James said he's not coming because he's trying to win their client. The other guy said he knows the client. He's a family friend and he will come to the bachelor party. James said he's coming then. Then I took Mpo to KK's house and told her that he bought KK's house. Mpo said it's a beautiful house, but KK had armor boys. Then I said he, he was the owner of the armor boys. The house is beautiful and there's a garden for the kids to play. Mpo said she doesn't want to replace her child. Then I said he hasn't given up and the child will come back. If she doesn't like the house, they can look at the houses. Mpo said the house is beautiful and they can buy it. At the time when they were having a conversation, Mpo received a phone call from her sister and told her that they had a party at Denda's place and she's apologizing about it and her mother gave her a beating. Mpo told Denda that she's going to Venda and her little sister got a beating from her mom and she wants to sit down with her and have a conversation. Sharon spoke to Gugu about the relationship advice. She said she likes her boyfriend but he doesn't want to get married. Gugu said if he doesn't want a marriage, she must just believe him. He has his own reasons. The bachelor party started. James saw his client and tried to have a conversation about business. The guy said he's having fun. He must also relax. They then called the stripper and took a chair, blindfolded James. The stripper started dancing. Someone took a video. James opened his eyes and saw that the stripper is his sister. He was so angry and went out with her. The party continued. Azundini was so happy and had flowers and went to see Susan. Susan packed all Azundini's belongings and told him to leave the house. Azundini couldn't believe it and said he's not going anywhere. Susan shoved off his clothes outside. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can get more on this channel. 105 Online Channel loves you. Bye, good people.